Up next is a lightweight matchup between the Freak, Amin Bala Freak, and John C. Lindor. Here we go, Flies fans. Let's keep the action going. Please welcome, out of the blue corner, from Dania Beach, Florida, give it up for John C., the kickboxer, Lindor. So it's not the most unique nickname in the business, the kickboxer, John C. Lindor, but he has a reason for it. 29, nine and one as a kickboxer, so we'll give him that. Yeah, he's got a lot of experience as a kickboxer, done traditional karate, boxed professionally also, doing the Muay Thai thing here tonight. Definitely better with his hands, he says, and he's got some, some good kicks from the outside and uh, has a few tricks and loves to throw spinning back fists. His instructor, Bonnie Canina, talked a lot about his ability to throw spinning back fists, and, and uh, she was a five-time world champion and was capable of throwing those pretty well herself. And someone you might want to listen to for sure. And now please welcome his opponent out of the red corner from Alexandria, Virginia, give it up for Amin, the Moroccan freak, but a free. Well, if you're a fan of Lion Fight, you have seen this man in action before, Amin Balafreak. Used to be called Moroccan Boy, but uh, he enjoyed Michael and your call so well, Pat, when you were calling him the freak, that he, he incorporated the nickname, and we've seen him put on a striking clinic before. I tell you what, when this guy gets going, he is very aggressive. He's got a lot of power. Little men generally don't knock people out as well as he does. He hits and kicks very hard and drops people left and right. And uh, just, just super aggressive, very good technically. And once, once the bell sounds, he, he winds up and he goes. Here's the tail of the tape for this lightweight matchup. Lindor is three years older than Bella Freak, who weighed in one pound heavier and is one inch shorter. Key could beat Lindor's substantial eight inch reach advantage. Once again, for the fighter introductions, here's Sonny Franco. Ladies and gentlemen, once again from the Foxwoods Resort Casino, Lion Fight Promotions brings you the next bout of the evening. Scheduled for five rounds of action in the lightweight division. At ringside, your three judges should go the distance are David Ginsburg, James Smith, and Eric Colon. And the man in charge of the action at the bell, your referee, Tom Sconzo. Fight fans, here we go. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner to my left. Standing five feet, seven inches tall, he went in officially at 135 already pounds. Tonight, he enters the ring undefeated. Two wins, zero losses. Join us tonight from Dania Beach, Florida, ladies and gentlemen, here is John C., the kickboxer, Lindor. And introducing his opponent, fighting across the ring out of the red corner to my right. Standing five feet, six inches tall, he weighed in officially at 136 ready pounds. As a professional, his record stands. Eight wins with three losses. One of his wins coming to you by way of KO. Joining us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, from Alexandria, Virginia, and in his native Arabic language, Marhamen, Ahalem, Wasahalem. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Amin, the Moroccan freak, Bella Free. Once again, your referee in charge, Tom Sconzo, to give the final instructions. Gentlemen, we went over the rules downstairs. I've my commands at all times. Take yourself at all times. Let's have a good fight. Touch them up. Ready for action in the Lion Fight lightweight division. 
That's 130 to 135 pounds. Bella Freak gets his shirt taken off, and there's John C. Lindor. He will be wearing the black Fairtex gloves. Amin Bala Freak in the yellow gloves. Excited to have Fairtex a part of the Lion Fight Freddy family. Ray. Those gloves Ray. are the real deal, and we are underway. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Lindor already using feints and fakes. Crisp hands. And Lindor said, watch for my spinning elbow. Bonnie taught me that. And Pat, you were saying just, it, it's tough. Not everyone knows how to throw it. You can, you can do it, the technique, but landing it is, is a different story. A lot of ways to set it up and throw it. Counters, uh, missing with punches on purpose to get the body spinning, missing with a kick. Uh, I prefer always having the person be an aggressor and stepping away and throwing it, but you know, there's a lot of ways to set it up. Chris Book. Bella Freak, though, not bothered by it so far. Bella Freak, we saw him coming off a win at Ryan Fight 36, as we said, against Jonathan George. But I was impressed with the freak that night. He mentally destroyed George. He was in his head early. Yeah. And he never recovered. No, not at all. Bella Freak trying to, trying to basically close down the ring here. Lindor, nice job sidestepping, disappeared on him. Good footwork. Bella Freak going for that chopping elbow. Lindor pushes Bella Freak to the mat. Shots echoing through, and there is the spinning elbow or spinning back fist from Lindor. Trying to catch him coming in there. Lindor slips to the canvas. Though a freak describes his style as counter style, he'll get hit and then pay you back with two. Hit and get hit. Definitely can take a punch, nice combination from Lindor. Lindor disappearing on him a lot. When, you know, when he's done with his combo, he does a good job of getting out of there. Look at him. Cutting the angles, getting on the bike, getting out of the way. Only 28 years old, Lindor. He's a boxer, kickboxer, Muay Thai 2 and 0. Fighters teeing off now. Bellafree keeping the pressure on, winks at him. Lindor came up with a shot, and Bellafree right back at him. Bellafree getting clipped a little bit coming in. Under 30 to go, round one. Oh, land of that. <laughs> and the freak sticks his tongue out at John C. Lindor. It's like we said, trying to get in his head. Oh, nice shot from the freak. Front kick to the face. Bella Freak absolutely showing zero respect for Lindor. He better be careful because Lindor does have that knockout power. The Bala Freak, this is what he likes to do. He will get in the head of his opponent. He'll keep sticking that tongue out at him. But as you've always said, Pat, you let your fists do the fighting. When you're talking that much trash, it can come back to haunt you. Yeah, it's a double-edged sword, you know? I mean, you can look great if you win, but uh, if you lose after running your mouth, not so good. There's a spinning back fist. Landed right on the forehead with his forearm. It's a good way to break your ulna and possibly your radius also. You want that to land on the jaw, not the forehead, because the forehead is meant to smash into stuff. We are expecting the spinning elbows and back fists from Lindor, but it was Balafrey who broke that out of his arsenal in the toolbox tonight. Pat Militich giving that first round to the Freak. Let's check in with Phoenix. Phoenix. Bella Freak's corner is telling him that he needs to be patient, that his leg kicks are working for him, as you could just see, and to continue to be patient and continue the pressure. Thanks, Phoenix. Bella Freak, he is a pressure fighter. He will not stop. One speed and it's fast forward. Nice hook to the low kick there. Set it up very well. Hey. 
Nice footwork and movement, though, from Lindor. You can tell that this guy has a lot of experience in the ring. He's a freak. And Lindor is on one knee. It could have been a body shot. That I thought that's what it was. Well, Lindor went down to a knee, and now the Freak will look to end this. Big shot from the Freak. And he dumps Lindor to the ground. Well, the Freak's starting to get, get after it here. Well, premature in his celebration, but he's got Lindor in trouble. He's relentless. Power and Duel will see if Lindor has been able to regroup and recover. If a fighter does not respect your power in combat sports, they're going to do exactly what Bella Freak's doing. He has no respect for Lindor's power at all. None. He's been hit with things and basically said to himself, he's not capable of hurting me, I'm going to wreck him. And of course, power and damage is a key to scoring here in Connecticut. Under a minute to go in round two. And what a freaking southpaw. Is he going to go to the liver with that left leg? And Lindor back on the line fight Matt. And you saw him grimace as soon as he went down. Still hasn't recovered from what we think is a body shot. It was tough to see from this angle. Tie clinch, the freak throwing nasty knees and just misses with an elbow. Just keeping the pressure on Lindor. Broke his posture with that push to the face. Bent him over backwards. A little too much like MMA there, Pat. Caught, oh, caught him with the spinning back fist, but Bella Freak still. Look at that. Bella Freak not even bothered. It's crazy. Lindor with the spinning elbow and Bella Freak didn't even. Grimace didn't move. And down goes oh, he's Lindor hurt. Again. He's hurt. He hurt his ankle or his knee. Something happened. Oh. Hey, ref. Did we get a count on that? Well, a tough round for John C. Lindor. See if he can get back out there for the third round. So we check out some of the highlights. That caught him right in the solar plexus. Mm. His toes literally scraped his solar plexus and knocked the wind out of him. Look. Boop. Yeah. Oh, wow. Clipped him perfectly right in the solar plexus. You can see his diaphragm lock up. That's basically the sound he made. There's the end. Look at him fall on his ankle. Oh. That could have been a lot worse. Yeah. Glad he didn't snap his ankle. Phoenix was in the corner of Lindor. Phoenix. Bonnie is telling him basically not to back up and to really throw his hands, not to let this guy muscle him around. Thanks, guys. Pat, that shot was unbelievable to, to the body that dropped Lindor. I mean, just how much power does the free cap when a shot like that will crumple a man? Well, if you think you're out of range, that's the thing. If you think you're out of range, you're not going to have your abs tight. Anytime you're in range to get punched or kicked, you should have your abs tight. That's your armor for your body. Um, and so it probably wasn't flexed. Oh, he hurt his ankle again. And right away, Bella Freak attacks the leg of Lindor. He is down, and I don't think he's getting up. He's struggling to get on his feet. Says he's okay. Wow. This could what get really odds. ugly. I mean, there, there could be some ligament tendon damage in there. That's. Um, he's got a bad will. He's in big trouble now. We want to be able to fight another day. Big overhand from the freak. He's got to let his hands go. You know, the style of fighting that Lindor has done with the boxing and the, the kickboxing, the more kickboxing style. You know, he's, he's not liking the, the close proximity of guy in his face constantly with the, with the relentless attacks. Kickboxing is... Uh, should have been a break there. Yeah, I down. Agree. Fighters clinch up. It's all Bella Freak right now. And there's Thomas Gonzo to reset the fighters. 
Lindor just not moving well. Sitting uh, duck and liver walk, kick. A liver shot from the freak. That'll go right through your arm, make your own arm hit yourself in the liver and hurt you. We heard that all the way upstairs. I don't know how Lindor is still standing at this point. And he's not. Good. Sweep from Bella Freak. One minute to go in round number three. I mean, Bella Freak putting on a clinic. Lindor's game plan unraveling right now. And he's down again, just missed with the spinning elbow. Yeah, he's done. They need to stop it, yeah. And that is it. John C. Lindor broken down. Ringside doctors will check him out. Hopefully there's no bad damage to the to knee or the ankle. But Amin Balafreak was a freak tonight for sure. His style is tough to deal with unless you've got the power to keep him at bay. Unless he respects your power, you're, he's just going to keep coming forward. As he said, he's a counter style, but he didn't have to take too many hits to deliver them. It was all pressure from the freak tonight. He recently signed a new multi-fight deal with Lion Fight. And fans here in Connecticut are excited about that. Bring the school here. This was the uh, beginning of the end here as his uh, ankle started to come apart. We can see him, his knee buckled there, his, his uh, foot stuck to the mat. Obviously having some problems He catches here. Yeah, he just couldn't readjust his foot. The ankle's obviously injured. And putting pressure on the knee also because he couldn't move it correctly. And then here's the end. Spins, ankles wrenched on. A lot of torque when you spin like that. He's got ligaments or something damaged in there. It's going to hurt that much more. Unfortunate injury. Yeah, the doctors here are, are checking out John C. Lindor. Bella Freak enjoys this victory with his team from Capital Muay Thai. I just hope that John C. Lindor is okay. He's sitting on the stool in front of us. And he looks to be okay. And we certainly hope so. Let's make it official and go back to Sonny Franco. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes. Two minutes, 23 seconds of round number three. Referee Tom Sconzo puts a stop to this contest, declaring your winner by TKO Amin, the Moroccan Free.